as I said, we are in game number three. So the winner of this moves on. The winner of this moves on, and I don't actually think the brackets are updated yet. Who would Hero Marine play against? He, this was one of the first matches that we actually started for this portion, so I don't think there's anything else decided, no. The, uh... Actually, there's not even a result for Kalp versus Sell the Wound, who are waiting to play against... Uh, the winner of that series plays against Goody, and then the winner of this series plays against the winner of that series. So we still... I still have a long way to go in this bracket, actually, now that I, now that I think about it. There's at least uh, two or three more matches. But as far as this game goes, we are seeing exactly what we've been seeing from... Hero Marine opening Reaper and Delphi opening up with this fast spawning pool. Squeezing out the Zerglings. It looks like he will try to do like he did on the first map. Get the Zerglings around. Catch them off guard. Kill this command center maybe. The Reaper is second one is on the way. And Hero Marine has it rallied to his command center. So he is already preparing to defend against the potential attack that could come at him. But... Um, Delphi Zerg here is ready. He's catched the Reaper. He comes in. Scouts doesn't see any gas, and he's just going to zip right on out. Did he see the right extractor? Yeah, okay, so he knows there's no gas. Zerglings are here once again. The Reaper is out, and oh, he gets one SCV. He's going to town in this command center, though. He's trying to pull the weakened lings back, do as much damage as possible. Two more SCVs come. Hero Marine does not want to risk losing the CC again. He kills another SCV, and oh, he's just going to go for the third one. Hero Marine wants to keep this alive. Can he? It's close, but he will save it. Well, he lost two workers there, which is pretty nice for the four lings. That's really annoying as a Terran player in the early game, having to deal with that type of uh, shenaniganery. I'd almost just want to keep the first Reaper at home, honestly, at this point, when you when you consider that this guy, Delphi, just opens up with fast uh, pool every single game. The only game he didn't open fast pool was the proxy hatch game on uh, Frost against Revenge. Reapers are poking these queens. He's going to step back. Two more barracks on the way for here, Marine. He's just not going to build third command center. He's not doing any of those really fast, greedy builds. He's not doing that anymore. He wants to play for very sharp bio timings. He wants to just eviscerate Delphi with a qu very quick stim and a very quick uh, bio push. Could even keep Hellions with it. He's actually... Whoa, whoa is he going to... No. Okay. I was going to say no way he's just going to make a naked marine tank push. There's the uh, the Hellion production and there's the stim. So, Hero Marine will probably want to start up two reactors, get his starport. No, engineering bay. Okay. He's going to go for a slightly later attack, maybe with plus one. Um, this is kind of interesting to see. He can't build add-ons on this. Okay, he will. He's just going to have a very late... Okay, so he can't start plus one attack. That's what I was wondering. The engineering base only feels early because maybe he thinks there's a potential for fast mutas again. But uh, he saw that there was no gas. So this is just a... Hero Marine just doing his thing. Pretty interesting. I'm trying to just uh, look at the, some of the decisions he's making at the early game stage. Yeah, he can't start the plus one immediately. But this Marine holds the Overlord at bay. Does he know about the extra barracks? I don't think so. No. So for all he knows, your Marine's done the same thing he did the last two games and play with a fast third command center. Which I actually think is... Uh, it's pretty good that Delphi does it. Delphi, does he always get his plus one attack, melee attack a little bit later? Okay, yeah, there it is. So this third base could be poked. He has the potential to do a lot of harass to this. And I, I feel maybe even do a little bit of damage. But... The starport's on the way. Stim is just about a little bit over a minute away. And what can Delphi do? He's getting a spore crawler. He doesn't know exactly what's coming his way. He wants to play safe. A spore at each base. He thinks this could also be the uh, Banshee play that he faced on the last map. And Hero Marine is just going to go. He's building his reactors up. He's got a reasonable Hellion count. And he's just plus one attack. So the Medivacs are going to come out. In just a couple of moments, he's going to start them. And with the two medevacs, I think that's when he goes for the stim push. He just brings everything across the map. He's actually going to almost suicide one Hellion into Scout. And he does kill a few Lings. Now, keep in mind that this build, I think... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to say, I think he could just kill him with this with this push. Um, this He should not have any difficulty, I feel, doing a serious amount of damage to Delphi Zerg. Because you know what Delphi Zerg has not done at all in any of the games he's played so far today? Build a Baneling Nest 
at a reasonable time. He always gets his bailing as so late. And that's what makes these marine pushes so effective. I think I think he could just kill him here. I, I would be surprised if he didn't. Um, he would need an absurd number of Zerglings to just hold with pure Ling. Uh, one advantage he'll have is he has uh, one upgrade on uh, Hero Marine. Hero Marine's plus one attack is done, but he does not have the armor upgrade. So the Zerglings would do a bit of extra damage to this force. But here comes a lot of Marines. And he still has the Hellions, so just pure Ling. Hellions are great versus that. The Queens, well, Marines and Marauders don't really care about Queens. Here he comes to the third base. The bio push is here. How does he hold this? Just pure lings. He scans. He's looking to see if there's Bane lings waiting for him. There's nothing. Spinecrawler's going to get picked off. Stims. And he's just stutter stepping his way forward. This uh, Spore Crawler gets killed. There's no way these drones are going to escape. All he needs to do is watch uh, watch how many times he stims. Widowmind picks off a good chunk of, uh, of Zerglings there. Getting six with that volley. The rallied reinforcements are picked off, but... Killing the actual army here. It's going to be such a big, such a difficulty. Here he comes pulling back. The Zerglings are trying to get the surround on this force. And he's actually chewing away at Hero Marine's forces quite nicely. But he lost that third. These queens are going to die as well. And Delphi is really feeling the pain of no Baneling Nest. There is, there's very little to stop this attack. And he's moving out with the next couple waves of Marines. Moving across the field. Picking off overlords in his opponent's natural. This, this is rough. He does have more Zerglings coming from the right side. He's trying to get a flank position, restarting the third hatchery. But there's just there's almost too much tear in here. He's securing himself a fantastic edge in this game. He has a third command center done. He's moving out to take that third base. And Hero Marine actually being able to fight in a choke against these Zerglings. This is so nice for him. Plus 2-2 two, two is on the way for Delphi. The third base on the way again, like I said. But he is losing so much here and he might actually cancel these two two upgrades this is a the other big threat of this bio force being here immediately restarts that evolution chamber but will it be enough more queens going to die he needs to get injects off on this hatchery to keep that zergling production up oh this is this is tough he actually doesn't have to even have the energy to do so he's just bringing his army back he's going to rally together and get another push prepared and he will finish just the plus two carapace which is not necessarily terrible. The Zerglings try to counterattack. There's not really any... Wow, actually, never mind. The Widow Mines do a lot of damage. But there's not really much room for a counterattack play. This is... This is so rough. I really just can't believe he intends to win the game with just Zerglings. No Banelings at all is so hard versus a bio, versus bio with Widow Mines in it. This is... I mean, I almost feel like you should just play Bio Hellbat. Like against Delphi, if you know he's gonna do this every single game, why not just get a why not just get like two factories and just mass blue flame hellion all in or uh, maybe even just add blue flame hellbats instead of mines for the mid game. And these Zerglings come in, they get uh, they get destroyed, and Hero Marine still holds a huge edge in this this game, I feel. Looking absolutely fantastic now. 32 lings in production, Baneling Nest on the way as well. But uh, this drop will get held off as well. Hero Marine is... Actually, no, he's might going to do a lot of damage. He's going to kill the Queens. We don't mind. Oh, actually kills one of his own Marines. So the drop does get held off. Killing the Queen is nice. These Zerglings want to counterplay, but there's nothing there. He's got uh, his depot set up quite nicely. Second factory is coming in as well. And... Oh, he finally built the Baneling Nest. This is what Delphi does. He waits all game, builds a Baneling Nest, and then starts up... 34 banelings and tries to just kill you and right in your face now widow mines are still good in this situation and hero marine has not forgotten to continue producing them so what can he okay, there's no baneling speed either no baneling speed off creep he's just trying to kill him up mass banelings now can it work uh, he's actually not getting the widow mine donations he wants oh he's going towards that third base mineral line the scvs can run away they have the the speed but he's overpowered most of the army of hero marine problem is he still has uh, drops out on the map, picking off this third base once again. No mining there. These Banelings are headed towards the mineral line. Can he get in there? Oh, no. You kill a few SCVs, those Banelings. But I think... I, I'm just... I'm ever so impressed, uh, confused, and frankly, just... I, I don't know. But, uh, flabbergasted by the way that Delphi Zerg plays StarCraft 2. This is... He's just... There's so many Zerglings. I, every time I feel like he's going to die, he just has so many more Zerglings to push back with. And he can't actually kill Hero Marine, but he's... I don't know, man. 
I, I no longer have feelings about this game. I don't I don't know. I don't know what to think. He's trying to push in once again towards that third base, and he's uh, he's not going to be able to break it. Too many Marines. The, the Zergling upgrades are cute, but GG. Hero Marine will advance.